NGO is gathering evidence of alleged police brutality during the violent clashes between protesters and the police earlier this month. The force has come under pressure after they fired tear gas, rubber bullets and beanbag rounds at protesters. Now, meanwhile, protesters continued with their demonstrations this afternoon. Hundreds blocked the entrances to some government buildings in Wan Chai as they seek to ramp up pressure on the government. Roland Lim tells us more. Over the weekend, university student unions promised more protest actions. They were disappointed that the government didn't respond to their calls for the extradition bill to be withdrawn or for the police to be held accountable for the violence that took place on June 12th. During lunchtime Monday, scores of protesters dressed in black and masks surged into Revenue Tower in Wan Chai, chanting slogans against the police and for the extradition bill to be withdrawn. They held a sit-in protest in the lobby, but left a minimum amount of space for people to leave the building. But staff headed out for lunch weren't allowed to return. One government worker was seen arguing with protesters over the restricted access to the town. Members of the public struggled to get into the building. The demonstrators didn't resort to violence, and the police were nowhere to be seen. Separately, the Civil Rights Observer is calling on the government to set up an independent investigation committee and to conduct a comprehensive review of the methods used by police. The government has maintained there are established channels for victims to make a complaint against the police. The first is the in-house Complaints Against Police Office, or CAPO, and also the Independent Police Complaints Council, or IPCC, which supervises and reviews CAPO's work. In a CAPO or IPCC proceedings, they are case-based. They are looking at whether it, there is an individual, individual instance of, of excessive violence or unlawful use of force or other illegality. But a commission inquiry uh, from past experience in Hong Kong as well as overseas experience of similar commissions of inquiry into policing issues. Um, the commission can review comprehensively the systematic factors and the policy factors that lead to the viol that led to the violence on that day. In the meantime, the Civil Human Rights Front is urging the public to join a protest rally on Wednesday ahead of the G20 summit in Osaka. This in a bid to pressure Beijing to soften its stance and for the government to withdraw the extradition bill. Roland Lim, CNA, Hong Kong.